everybody, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, then welcome back. So in today's video, I will be doing a Pixie Beauty unboxing. Um, I did get sent this for free and I just wanna open it and share with you guys what I got and what I think about the items in the box. So if you're interested in seeing what I got from the Pixie PR, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. Alrighty guys, so it did come in this big box and I will tell you, so I haven't checked my PO box in a while because I kind of stopped sending stuff there um, when I kind of slowed down a couple months ago right before having my baby. So I stopped sending stuff there. So I really hadn't been there in a while to actually check it. But I decided to have my husband stop by a couple days ago or the other day and he said that there was something in there. So I was really excited to see what it was and he brought it here and it was this guy. So a little backstory, I was on the PR list all of last year for the most part and then kind of in October or September I want to say they stopped sending me stuff and I was like oh well you know either one I had said something that they just didn't like or two they just aren't doing sorry I keep messing with my hair it's messed up right now um, or two they just weren't sending PR out to smaller influencers anymore or for the time being. So when I got this, I was really excited um, and I just want to show you guys. So this is the box that comes in the box. Toss that. And then so you have this box right here and it is magnetic, which I think is cute, but you know, you guys know how I feel about waste on packages. I wish that they would just kind of put it in a box and send it to me. I really do like their products. I just think that like this box, I'm not gonna keep this. I know some small influencers do, um, just because it's a big step for them to be receiving PR, and it is for me too. And I'm really grateful. It's just, I don't keep empty boxes it's not something that I do and so I do find it to be a tad bit wasteful to do like to go all out and do this um so if they could just send it to me in a regular box that'd be great but so when you open it it has like all this stuff and this is pixie 20 years of glow and then you have radiant youth enhancing soft authentic hashtag 20 years of glow and then celebrating 20 years of glow glowing and it just has a bunch of different stuff and a bunch of different pictures of beautiful beautiful people and then here are all the goodies I got okay so in here it says every look begins with a, a flawless base true which is why for 20 years we've used the most beneficial skin loving ingredients effortlessly enhance your natural beauty in a few fuss free minutes with our award-winning multi-use favorites xoxo petra so i have used one of these before which is the i'm gonna pull it out first the glow tonic exfoliating toner i can't get it out <laughs> So here it is right here. I'm sure you guys have seen it around. If not, you can get this stuff at Target and I believe Ulta has it too. And then you can order it online um, if you don't wanna go to the store. So I do have this one and I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out instead of opening a new one. So I have been sent these um, quite a few times. So this is the one I'm currently on and it's actually almost gone. So basically this has 5% glycolic acid and it's an exfoliating toner. And it also helps basically renew your skin so it glows. So it gets kind of like a regular exfoliator would but it's more chemical than it is physical. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually put these on while I'm reviewing them. So it does have quite a bit of a perfume scent to it. So if you are kind of like really weird about perfume scented stuff, you might want to watch out. But I do have really sensitive skin and I have literally had no issues with their products. I got sent the whole vitamin C collection and I'll go ahead and link that above here and really, oh my god, it made my skin feel so nice like I was all about it so I put it I usually do it in the morning um I don't use this one in the evening but I put it on a round cloth a pad cloth I don't know what you call this but I put it on one of these and I just wipe it all over I do saturate this and I wipe it all over my face and before I move forward I let it dry but it really does I feel like just clear whatever uh, you have on your face in the morning it's just one of those things that like refreshes you and makes you feel like you're just like, ooh. 
So I am a big fan of that one. Um, and I'll go ahead and get the price for you. Okay, so the 100 milliliters is $15. And I'm assuming that that's what it is at Target and wherever else you buy it as well. But I'm telling you the online prices. So that's not bad. And these last me quite a while. So, and I use them almost literally every day under my makeup or under my skincare. So we're gonna move right to the next one because I'm also gonna be putting this on my face. Why not? So this one is the Rose Ceramide Cream Intensive Moisturizer. Anything that says intensive moisturizer, I'm down for because I have, like I've said a million and one times, super, super, super dry skin all the time, all year long. It can be humid and nasty and sweaty and gross and my skin is still like, you're not getting any oil. There is no oil coming out of these pores. So this for me is like, ooh, yes please. So this is skin loving ingredients. It has rose flower oil to nourish and restore. Ceramide NP provides time release moisture. That's pretty cool. Probiotics protects and balances. And the rest of it is in Spanish. So I'm assuming it's just doing the ingredients in Spanish. So ultra rich moisture cream infused with rose flower and rosemary oil. This moisturizer drenches your skin in deep hydration. Antioxidant rich plant extracts and ceramides to help improve skin's elasticity and lock intense moisture while helping to protect against environmental aggressors. I thought it quenches thirsty skin, leaving it healthier and more supple and smoother. That's a lot. There's a lot of words going on there. So use daily as needed. After cleansing, toning, and using an essence or serum, apply onto your skin. Do we have an essence or serum today? No, so we're going to go right in with it. Oh, it smells really nice. It almost smells citrusy. Oh, it feels nice too. Oh, I love moisturizer. So I get severe dry skin, mainly I get it on my body too because I have eczema really bad and I don't know if it's eczema that's starting to come on my face or if it's just super dry skin, but I get really dry skin around my mouth and right here on my eyelids. So if you guys have any kind of like DIYs or any treatments that I can use to get rid of that or help me kind of like just tame it, something I don't know to calm it down. Um, for my eczema, they give me a steroid, but I've stopped using it because I've noticed that it's actually done worse things for my skin than actually helping. I don't itch as much, but it's completely destroying and drying out my skin. So I stopped using it. Um, and I don't really like to use it on my face. So if you guys have anything that I can put on my face that will help with like dryness around here and on my eyelids, that would be fantastic. So let's go ahead and get the price for this one. Okay, and so you get 50 milliliters in this, which is 1.74 ounces, and this is for $24. Um, it did feel really hydrating, and if you can see it, I do kind of look like I have like a nice supple glow. Um, however, I will say it's just a bit tingly if that makes sense. So it could be that there's something in here that's supposed to do that because I know it has like ceramides in it and stuff. So I'm wondering if maybe that's it. So we'll kind of just wait and see how it feels towards the end. But I think it feels really moisturizing and hydrating. And like I said, my skin actually does look pretty nice. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the next thing. All right, so the next item is going to be the Glow Mist with Propolis, Propolis, Propolis? You know what to do let me know how to pronounce it down below look we're learning things and argon argon i know how to do that one argon oil so you give it a little shake because there's definitely some separation going on i have not actually ever tried these but i've heard really good things about it i know that like the milky one was a big thing that people were talking about for a while and i've never tried it oh it smells nice so let's see here all over face mist for a glowing, luminous, and smooth complexion. Enriched with 21 natural oils, um, pro plus propolis, aloe vera, and fruit extracts. You can do it before your makeup to hydrate, after your makeup to set, and then anytime to refresh it. Shake to mix, close your eyes, and mist all over face and neck for all skin types. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
That smells really nice. So that actually feels like really nice. I don't want to touch my face because I'm doing all this skincare and stuff, but that actually feels really nice. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel wet. It just really feels refreshing. It reminds me of the rose hip oil, the rose hip spray from Mario Badescu. Like it's just refreshing. I don't know that I would spray this as a setting spray though, because I feel like the oils might mess with your foundation and stuff. So I would just be a little cautious on that. Let's get a price. So for $15, you're getting 2.7 ounces. So that's not bad. Um, it's pretty decently priced and close to a lot of sprays and setting sprays. But again, I like I said, I don't know that I would actually set my makeup with this, but it look at my skin. Like rewind to the front of this video. It wasn't super dull, but like look at the glow. Just like a natural glow. This is gonna be going into my everyday routine along with the glow tonic. Oh yes, okay. All right, so moving on to the next thing that I'm actually not gonna be opening because I have this one and I've actually given it away. Um, this is the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette and it's in the shades Natural Beauty. I am actually not the biggest fan of this palette. I don't mind their shadows. It's just this palette did not work out for me and I find it to be quite boring. So if you have like natural palettes or neutral palettes, then this is also gonna be something that you're probably gonna wanna pass on. I really do appreciate that they send it to me, but I think I'm going to put this in a future giveaway for you guys because I'm just, I'm not here for it. They're not bad shadows, they're just not for me. And the palette is actually $24, so it is a decent palette. It's not like top of the line, I won't lie, but it, it's decent. The formula is pretty decent. It's just, it's kind of just bland. Like you're getting like just nothing but neutrals and the shimmers are neutral too. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, shimmers but like look at the browns down below they all look so similar it's just to me it wasn't something that i absolutely need or use because i have so many neutral palettes and colors so i will be putting that in a giveaway for later on so the next item is going to be the endless silky eye pencil it's waterproof so basically it is a black eyeliner and it's in pencil form which is actually my favorite kind of eyeliner i'm not really a big fan of like liquid pen eyeliners or um like the brushes the velvet tip pens so i really do like this and i think this is super cute let's see what we got here oh my all right so i'm gonna hold it all the way back here watch how like oh my gosh so that's just light handed now watch this Oh my god, that was the light. Look how smooth that went on. Oh, and it's dark, dark. Okay, so I'm super excited to try that. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably try that in the next makeup look or something and see how it goes. It does smudge a little. I, did, I was able to smudge it, so I don't know how waterproof it's really going to be if it can smudge with my fingers. But that... Oh my gosh, I just, that just glided right across my hand. Just whoosh, whoosh. Amazing. Okay, so that I'm pretty excited for actually. I haven't found an eyeliner that I'm excited for in a long time. This is $12 for this. Also not bad, but just a little bit pricier than drugstore, I think. All right, so the next thing is actually a lip item, and this is the Matte Last Liquid Lip, and this is in the shade pleasing pink so this is a super super hot pink and it's so super cute and little I've actually never tried any of their lip items so I'm kind of excited for that and it's just like a simplistic package and I love lippies so I'm here for this and I think the other one is a lippy too so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this and then I will swatch that one too Ooh, okay, it's not as hot pink as I thought. So I am really a big fan of this doe foot applicator. I love any doe foot that is pointed because I feel like I can get such a precise like look on my lips and it also has that hole in the center where it holds products so you literally only have to dip it once. I dipped it one time and I was able to cover my lips. So I'm waiting a few minutes while it dries down just to see how it feels after it dries like if it's gonna like feel really really dry or if it's gonna feel comfortable it does say that it's a matte so it should dry down completely so I'm gonna be right back after it dries down 
All right, so it has had time to dry down. And by the way, I just want to let you know this is $14. Um, I don't think that's bad for a liquid lipstick. You're getting a decent amount here. It is 6.9 grams and 0.24 ounces. It does not feel super drying at all. Like, I like how it feels. Let's see. And it only transferred just a smidge. You can barely see it there. I can only see it because I know that it's there, but literally it's the smallest amount. And it doesn't feel like powdery or gross. So I'm, I think I'm liking that. So now that I am stained around here from wiping pink all over my lips, let's move on. Um, I actually, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I really do like this one a lot. Um, it felt nice, it was a little streaky, but I think that that's because I was moving it while it was still wet. So I think if I gave it a second to let it dry, cause it did dry pretty fast, um, I think that it'll do a lot better. So we're moving on to the last item, which is the item I'm most excited for that I've never tried. This is another lip item. This is called Lift Li Lip Lift Max, a glossy lip plumper. So this one is a pretty long one. And this is in the shade Petal Ice. So I'm assuming it has like a pink tint to it, but it's it's clear. Line filling, super hydrating gloss. Ooh, so you can use it solo or on top of something else. Volume maximizing lip treatment with a cooling sensation. Peptides hydrate, firm and plump. Added aloe calms. Jo, jo, jojoba, jojoba, joba, joba, jojoba. Moisturizes and chamomile soothes. So added aloe calms. Jojoba, jojoba moisturizes and chamomile soothes. So by the time we're done this video, you're not only gonna know my pixie favorites, but you're also gonna understand that I don't know how to pronounce anything. So we're gonna go ahead and it's just a gloss. Let's smell it. Ooh, that smells nice. And it is a little thick. It's one of those thicker, thicker glosses. It's not thick to where it's like, eh but it's like, it's thick and it feels nice. And there's no color, it's clear. So for plumping lip glosses, they don't really work for me. I, I, I don't know that they really work for anybody. I've had quite a few from Buxom, from ColourPop, and now from here, I, I can feel a little bit of the tingle, but nothing to be like, oh my gosh, these are definitely blumping, blumping, wow, plumping up my lips. So that aspect of it or claim, I find a lot of companies to kind of be full of it. It could just be my lips. It could be that they're already pretty full, so I don't see a difference because they're obviously not going to make them look like I have lip fillers. And I have so many lines in my lips, there is no way that this lip gloss is going to make them look like they're filled. I'm sorry, that is not going to happen. However, as for just a regular gloss, I do like this and I think I'm going to put it in my purse because it's just a clear gloss. I can put it on top of other things or I can wear it by itself. And it feels hydrating, which is really weird for a gloss because usually if my lips are chapped and I put a gloss on top, it doesn't feel hydrating. It just feels like there's gloss on top of my dry lips. Where this one I feel like is really kind of getting into my lips, which is kind of strange. I know that sounds weird, but if you guys have this one at your local Target, I would pick this one up. If there's anything that you're going to pick up makeup wise, I would definitely pick this one up because it feels like it feels moisturizing. It's so weird to say like if you wear lip gloss over your dry or chapped lips, then you know what I'm saying. That feeling where it just feels like it's sitting and it doesn't feel like it's really going in like a lip balm, but that's not how this feels. This feels like it's actually going in there. So I'm definitely gonna say heck yes for this one. So this one is also $14 and it actually comes in different shades, two, four, five different shades, neutrals and pinks mostly. So that's pretty cool that it comes in different shades because I really, I actually really do like this formula a lot. Um, and it doesn't have like a super strong smell. It does smell nice, but it doesn't have that super like, Peppermint smell if you know what I mean like I really really like this one so that is all of the items in my pixie PR uh, I'm actually really excited I'm not gonna lie the only thing that I would have to say I'm kind of disappointed on and not really disappointed just like eh, is the palette because one I've already been sent this palette 
and two, it just wasn't my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a future giveaway for all of you lovely people. But if I had to pick my favorite, oh, I'm gonna say the Glow Tonic. Obviously, I use this one all the time. Like when I tell you I use it all the time, I've gone through probably like two or three of these little bottles that they've sent me. They also have a vitamin C one that I really, really like too. The only thing and I just remembered picking it up, I have to stress to you guys, is if you get these, hold them upright because I put them in my drawer and they spill. So the container is not the best. But I'd have to say that this is definitely one of my favorite of the items. And the lip gloss because it really, really does feel hydrating. And that's very rare in a lip gloss to feel like it's hydrating my lips and not just covering the chapped or the dryness. And then the eye pencil. This was the silkiest, smoothest pencil. Like it just went like I just can't I don't know how to explain how amazing that first swipe was and I really wish that I would have shown you on camera like just how it just was so smooth and effortless I'm just really these are going to be my th three favorite and the three that I actually recommend to you guys all right so that is it for today's video I hope you liked it comment below if you guys want to see a video on my current favorite skincare items I can't really do a skincare routine video because honestly my skincare stuff changes so frequently. One, I'm sent a lot of stuff. Two, I buy a lot of stuff. And three, my skin just kind of changes all the time. So I can't honestly sit here and tell you like these are the things that I use every morning because I would be lying. So if you guys want to see a skincare favorites, then go ahead and comment below and I will get an updated one for you on that. And also do not forget my Saturday lives. I go live every Saturday on YouTube and I hope you guys come and hang out. We just talk about makeup and just fun stuff and like how is life going it doesn't have to always be about makeup you can always just chime in on how your life is going if you need someone to talk to a shoulder to lean on then I'm here but a special thing that I am doing on this live is I'm going to be doing a live Ulta haul so I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Ulta with my 2019 points what does that mean what I do is I save all of my points for the year and then the beginning of the year, of the next year, I actually go and I spend them all and I do a haul. It's something new that I've started, but I'm really excited to show you guys all of the fun stuff that I got. So make sure you stop by to see that. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you on the next one.